I'm Frank Adelblu, the Commissioner of Education here in New Hampshire, and we're visiting Southwick School in Northfield, New Hampshire today to see what they've got cooking up for the kids in school. I understand they've got on the menu some meatloaf, potatoes, carrots, some fresh salads, lots of veggies for the kids to work with here. And uh, we might also get a chance to visit the greenhouse that they have on campus where they're actually growing lettuce and uh, radishes and different foods for the kids to eat and en enjoy in their lunches. And we might get a special treat and get to visit the beehives where they harvest honey to use in their homemade granola. Hoping that happens on this episode of School Days, Lunch Trays and Gourmets. Busy. Yeah, and they Wait, don't and have meat love takes a lot of time to prepare, right? And it does. So we want to give kids at all levels, all our schools, especially the elementary, a nice home cooked meal. Sounds good. They want us using the um, oats. So throw a little fiber in there. Yeah, absolutely. A binding agent, but a little fiber going as well. A little binding agent. Yeah. Okay. Pepper. Absolutely. We'll sprinkle it in nice and evenly. Hopefully. Yeah. No, you, you <laughs> okay. Onion. And is this dehydrated onion as well? Yeah. Okay. Sprinkle it right in there. I'll start stirring is what you're telling me. You got it. Okay. But make this happen. It's like making meatballs at home. Oh, right, my mom. Exactly. Well, then, right? It just brings <laughs> you back. Yeah, exactly. But it's all about giving the kids a well-balanced, nourished meal. That's, right. That's yeah. tasty too, though. You know, it's one thing to get the kids, uh, you know, nourished, but if they don't eat it, they don't get any nourishment, That's right? That's a problem. So we've got to make sure that they're getting something that they're going to put in their mouth and eat. Heartily. Well, our schools, we, we survey the kids. So we'll okay. sit down with them at lunch and talk to them. Did you like this meal? Did you not? Yeah. You know, know, know your customer. Right. Yeah, right. That's one of the things that I've observed as I've kind of been into the different schools and into the food service prep. But you guys have relationships with these kids in a way that the teachers almost don't because you get to see kind of what they're eating and stuff like that. So it really yeah. kind of, it's a special relationship that you build or, uh, you know, that, that binds up with the kids as they kind of come through. And then, Getting some food and, and comfort if, food is good for a lot comfort of food is good. <laughs> well, if the kids eat, maybe they test better. They're right. not hungry. Right. You know, it's really important. And we're helping the families out too. Right. You know. All right. So, which would you say is the secret ingredient in here? It's a secret. I can't tell you. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. Sorry, right, kids. Right? You're not going to learn the secret right. ingredient today because it's a secret. <laughs> okay. The so mystery bowl. Okay. Now we're going so for the oats. So now we need some uh, for some oats? binding. Oats yeah. now. Want to put some oats in there, so we'll flatten this bad boy out, right? Put them all in. Yeah. We'll put, put half. We'll, we'll we'll start with half. Okay, so we get them in this. Yeah. Okay, that should be good. And then we'll mix our liquid egg. Okay. Right. Well, this is gonna be really dry now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go for it. I need some something some binding. binding in there. Yeah. So what do I got? This is whole liquid whole egg. eggs. Okay. So we want to mix this up nicely. This is actually getting a good consistency uh, here. It's going to make a nice and And it's a good workout, right? And there's that. Yeah. And then just spread it out. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll top it with a little paste. Here, tip that up so he can see over there. See so what right. we got going in there? See yeah. that? Yeah. All right. Good. Look what he's created. Look at that. <laughs> Teamwork. Yeah. But we do want our students to enjoy this. Yes. Enjoy our food. I think because like you said, well, if they don't like it, they're not going to eat it. They're not going to eat it. And then they just throw it in the trash can and it doesn't help anybody. But right. kids like it and they eat it. They'll like you said, fueling their little bodies, fueling their minds so that they can learn here in school. That's a great thing. All right, so now, we'll fill that one there. I'd like to show you a product. There we go, huh? Does that look good? Look what he's done. <laughs> look what he's done. <laughs> okay, so now we've got the meatloaf in the oven. And that's going to cook for about 45 minutes mm -hmm. until it's just right for the kids. Yep. And in the meantime, how about what are we going to start serve with the meatloaf? Any kind of veggies or anything like that we're going to work with? Well, actually, we do. We have a fresh salad that we're going to put together. Oh, sounds good. But we're going to take you to our greenhouse. That fresh. That fresh. Let's see it. Farm to table. Awesome. Let's our do farm. this. Yeah, let's, let's go. go. So our heart behind this greenhouse was to find a creative way to get kids engaged. Um, we wanted kids to be excited to come. And that's to because school. we know when kids are engaged, we know they're learning. Exactly. Yeah. And so if parents are happy, kids are happy, teachers are happy, everybody's happy. So if we can get them here with their hands dirty, doing simple math, simple science, learning um, where their food comes from, 
uh, where their food goes. Yeah. I figured uh, it would be a real help. So we're starting to see a peaked interest in the local community and uh, this facility being utilized for means other than just yeah, for students. So that's exciting for us. That is really well, it's educational. It is right. You know, it's educational. They get to learn. And we, we like to use all these products that we're growing here throughout the district. Okay. So we have a program called Taste It Tuesday. Uh, every Taste It Tuesday. Every Sounds month. fun. It's awesome. And the kids have really... New hashtag, Taste It Tuesday. Taste It Tuesday. So we take... Like last Tuesday in Samberton, we picked some vegetables, we bought some avocado, and okay. we mixed it, and we have a whole informational sheet on the products that we're using, Right. and the teachers will read off in class all about what we're doing. So, so you bring it into the classroom, oh, the, or they just come when they get no, in the classroom. No, the classroom, wow. each classroom is dropped off a fresh fruit or vegetable, Okay. and we drop them off, but not just, we education meets product. Right. So the teachers are educating about the product and the kids actually ask, when is Tasted Tuesday? Well, it's next Tuesday. So are they pretty good? Because sometimes, especially in elementary school, kids can be a little finicky about what they eat. Yeah. They're, really, they're they all in and they're willing to taste it? Okay. Well, you know how it is. My you got to try it. You got to try a little bit. Right. Yeah. Right. So we, we've done pick them up. We've wow. done star fruit. We want to educate the kids. Yeah, on different things that are out there. Mm -hmm. What a great idea. Oh, she's cutting a lot. Good job. Okay. Thank you. Do you like it? Miss Casey? Good. So once you start on the edge, because it's easier to get the plant, and then just, oh, you already know how to do this. You guys are experts at this. Nobody told me you were experts at line. this. I you made the line. Is everybody going to cut oh, one? I'll okay, so cut one and then stick okay, it in your bowl. Like you just like kind of lift some of the leaves up and then you snip it near the bottom. Be careful with the leaves. And it comes out. Yep. Really easy. It's even easier. Than everybody it. grab a radish and throw it in the bowl. Okay. But show it the camera because actually everybody wants to see what you guys are picking over there. There you go. Those are some nice looking radish. Awesome, you guys. Okay, so let's take this back to the kitchen and go cook something. All so, right. So we did pretty well out there in the greenhouse, didn't we? I thought you did a great job. Those, well, what's it be, honestly? There were kids out there cutting, and they kids came up. Look at some job. of the stuff. We got some radishes. Look at the size of these radishes. These are almost apples. They're so large, right? They did a great job with that. And then we got a bunch of fresh lettuces. You know, look at that. These kids did an awesome job, and the stuff that they're growing out there is incredible. Yeah, you find so that you've got a lot of kids taking these little salads. It's yeah. kind of a nice little, it's a nice serving size, yeah. you know, so the kids can engage that pretty easily. Enjoy. And some will pour it on their plate, and you'll see at lunch. Oh, is that right? We have an array of vegetables that they'll add to it. Okay. They're all colorful, nice mm. vegetables. All right, so these salads that we put together look pretty good, but you don't just get a salad, do you? Like, look at all the stuff these kids get to add on here, right? Yeah, it's, it's nice. It's colorful. It's fresh. Very visually appealing. Yeah. So then kids will just like kind of put together what is going to be appetizing to them, and yeah. that becomes their salad. Right. And do you find that the kids really kind of engage with like the different vegetables as they're kind of coming through? Yeah, the, the kids know what they like and they know what they want. And sometimes we may encourage, maybe try this, try that. But they know, and they've gone through the line several hundred times. So they know what they like. They get it. And they build their own salad. Okay, is there a favorite yes. thing on here? Because I'm going to guess that the cauliflower doesn't go that fast. I would think the cauliflower is not a favorite. I would think there's additional carrot when they, in the celery. Right. Uh, this is kind of neat, like the Snap pods. Piece. The, yeah. Uh, but they go for the colors, too. Yeah. You know, it's all about presentation, where the eyes meet. Yeah. So you guys are preparing a lot of food here on the campus. Is there anything else you guys got going? Yeah, actually, we have a beehive. Oh, a beehive. Yep, we have, bees. we have bees. You got bees and little kids together? Uh, yes. Those don't always go well together, do they? Well, if we're well prepared, it works. It works, okay. Would you like to see? <coughs> Can we go see the bees? We're going to go I see the bees. I would love to see the bees. That's great. And then does that zip? Yeah. It's, um, oh, okay. The pollen stored down here and the wet looking stuff is just nectar. So these are all nurse bees. Yeah. And they, I'm just hoping to see if I can find her. But um, I look, when I look for a queen, I kind of look for a space rather than looking at the bee. So now when you get the bees, where do they come from? <laughs> um, a number of places. Most of the time, if you order a package of bees, they're coming out from the mall. Um, but with bee mortality rate. Well, that was cool, and I didn't get stung. So I'm like, pretty happy about that. Yeah. Um, I wasn't sure how it would do, because there's all those bees flying around you, but 
you know, you have the suit on so you feel kind of safe. And actually, they were telling me that you get the kids who sometimes are even afraid of bees and they're able to go up close to all those bees that are flying around there, which is kind of interesting. Well, it's nice. We have the right equipment to do that. You do. So you were safe. I was safe. I felt safe the whole time. It was exciting. We, we were hunting for the queen and we finally found the queen bee, which was exciting. Okay. Um, so then you get honey from these hives and then what do you do with that? Okay. So we make homemade granola. Okay. So we'll start with the honey. Brown sugar. Okay. Some brown sugar. Dark brown sugar, right? Okay. Apple juice. Okay. Right. It's going to be sweet. Right? Nice and sweet. Uh, kids love that. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. And then we have our vanilla. Okay. And vegetable oil. Okay. And we want to mix them all up. And then we add it to our granola. Okay. This is really just kind of rolled oats, right? Is that yeah. looking at? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Some rolled oats to create. Okay. And then we mix it all together, put it on a sheet pan. We bake it for a long time. A long time. A long time. And then we get this tender goodness. Oh, right that's there. looking pretty good. Am I allowed to? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, that is sweet. Like that. Those bees were working hard, weren't they? Yeah, they were. <laughs> no double dipping. Yeah, no double we're dipping. Set. Yeah, I almost said. And this is the final product. So kids like the granola? They like the granola a lot, especially being homemade. I mean, it's one of those things we can buy. Actually, that has a great taste. You know, I'm now yeah. experiencing it. That is awesome. Yeah. So, yeah, and like you said earlier, if, if the kids don't like the taste, they're not going to eat it. Right. So that's the bottom line. We want our kids eating our fresh homemade products. So nutritious, homemade, and the kids like to eat it. A win for it's everybody. Win-win. Yeah, very Absolutely. cool. Absolutely. Excellent. Going, guys, are you guys having a good day? Were you guys some of the ones out there running around in the field? I look like fun. Isn't it a nice day out there? Do you want the works? Everything? Yeah, oh, are you yeah. guys hungry? I got food in here. Or do you guys like meat? It's meat out there. Hey, you guys hungry? You oh, look really good here today. I'm just saying. Yeah. We've got a hungry kid coming. One of the bigger pieces. A yogurt, okay. Anybody want meat loaf? Anybody meatloaf over there? Do you like meatloaf? Good. I love meatloaf. I love meatloaf too. It's actually the secret ingredient that makes it taste so good. So, you like that, don't you? I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure. Did it fill you up? Yeah. Sort of. You can eat more, is that what you're telling me? Yeah. You guys are growing boys, and growing boys always can eat more, can't they? Okay, a little meatloaf, little yep. potatoes, we'll get you some gravy on that. May I have gravy on my meatloaf, please? Gravy on the meatloaf coming up. Oh, that's going to look good. Maybe a little bit more there. Thank you. And some carrots for you. Please. I Good really enjoy one of these rolls too. Thank and you. a roll. There okay. you go. Now, can I have a salad? Absolutely. In fact, I hope you get a salad. <laughs> you take that yourself, or I'm going to help you with that. There we go. Thank you. A salad. And what are you going to put on that salad? Um, you know what? That's... I'm really hungry because we worked really hard today. Okay. So well, you get to pick out the I'm things you want. Out yeah, pick out the things you want on there. So, some uh, fresh vegetables here. I'll add these to the salad. Well, those look good, don't they? Right? Yeah. I'm going to toss it with a little carrot. And I'm mushroom. Food, mushroom guy. Right? All right. How's that look? That looks so awesome. That is a colorful plate. Right? Up here. All right, I'm on this. That's it. Right? It's really good, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah this is going to be good. Delivered.